So transfrionization energy. A neutral atom contains an equal number of protons as they do electrons. Okay, as we, we showed, lithium, three protons, three electrons. Beryllium, four protons, four electrons. Now, when an atom gains or loses electrons, they form ions. Now, when atoms that lose electrons, okay, they lose that negative charge, make, making it seem like they have a greater positive charge. But the, the, the proton count never changes. The electron count is what changes. So notice we can either lose electrons or we can gain electrons. So if we lose electrons, we form positively charged cations. Okay, and I underline the letter T because we think of the T as a positive, right? A T looks like a positive sign, positively charged um, atoms, okay? Atoms that gain electrons become negatively charged. They gain electrons, electrons carry a negative charge. So if they gain electrons, they become more negative and they form ions called anions. And we underline the letter N. We think of N for negative to remember what kind of an ion we call uh, atoms that gain electrons. So metals give up electrons and form ions that have the same number of electrons as their nearest noble gas. Okay, so we have here the aluminum ladder that separates the metals from the non Metals. If you look at the periodic table, if you have one of the really good ones, you'll notice that metals have a tendency to give up the electrons, forming positively charged cations. Nonmetals, on the other hand, gain electrons, forming anions, okay? or negatively charged ions. Ionization energy. It takes energy to overcome the attractive force of a nucleus in a pull an electron away from a neutral atom. The energy that is required to remove an electron from an atom is called the ionization energy. Okay? So for an atom to lose the electron, that's what we're looking at. Okay? So we're looking at what is the ionization energy? Ionization energy is the energy required to remove the electron. So if we're removing the electron, how likely is the atom to become positively charged or to become a cation? So ionization energy is the amount of energy needed to remove an electron off of an atom, ion, or molecule. So the following bar graph that's, that can be found at 800mainstreet.com shows the ionization energy in kilojoules per mole of the atom. So the bar graph shows that metals have relatively low ionization energy. Okay? They require very little energy to lose their valence electrons. While the nonmetals have higher ionization energies because they do not want to get rid of those electrons. Okay. So what it means by having a low ionization energy is that it requires a small amount of energy to remove the electrons from metals. Because nonmetals do not, these nonmetals do not want to give up electrons. They want to gain the electrons. Okay. These alkali metals are the most reactive. They are more likely to give up because they have only one valence electron and they need to get rid of, they need to give off this one valence electron to become, to reach a stable state. Okay? So their ionization uh, energy is lower. It requires very little energy to lose that one valence electron. Okay? So the lower the ionization energy, the easier it is to get rid of it. The higher the energy level, the less likely it is to get rid of their electrons. So nonmetals like neon, fluorine, oxygen have high ionization energies. They are unlikely to get rid of their electrons. 
Okay? They have, because they have a strong attraction for these valence electrons. Remember, the radius is getting smaller as we're moving across. So there is a stronger pull of their outermost electrons to the nucleus. So they're less likely to want to lose electrons. Okay? So nonmetals hold onto their electrons. In fact, nonmetals gain electrons to form negative ions called anions. So higher energy levels, okay? So higher ionization energy because they do not want to get rid of those electrons. Because those electrons have a tighter hold to their nucleus. So energy required to remove one electron is called the first ionization energy. Energy required to remove the second electron is called the second ionization energy. The third electron is the third ionization energy and so on and so on. So alkali metals have low ionization energies because they are extremely reactive and require little energy to remove their single valence electron. They want to reach that stable octet. In order for them to reach that stable octet, they must get rid of that one electron. So why have a high ionization energy? It'll have a very low ionization energy because it wants to reach that stable octet with the inner shell. So, summarizing the trends for ionization energy. Ionization energy tends to decrease down a group. Ionization energy tends to increase across the period. So, decrease down a group. Electrons in the outer energy level are farther from the positive force of the nucleus. Okay. So we look at the atomic radius. If the atomic radius is greater, okay, it has a less pull on that one valence electron. Okay, because it's further away from the nucleus. So these electrons are easier to remove than the electrons found in lower energy levels because they're closer to the nucleus. Ionization energy tends to increase across a period. The attraction between the nucleus and the electrons in the outer energy level increases. Why? Because we are adding, we are, we are looking at more and more electrons found in that outermost energy level. So this requires more energy to put, pull an electron from its atom. So if we look at lithium and we look at, well, we have the first energy level, two electrons, and the second energy level, which has that one electron. And then we move all the way across to an atom like oxygen, that in its first energy level, it's got two electrons. And it, its second energy level, it has six electrons. So there are more electrons in their outermost, in their outermost energy level. So there is a greater pull towards the protons of the nucleus than there is here. So there's less, okay, less of an attraction with that outermost electron. Okay, that's why noble gases have a higher ionization energy. These are less likely to want to lose these electrons. They're less likely to want to lose them because there is a stronger pull to the nucleus than there is here, which there is a weaker pull. Low ionization energy, high ionization energy.